hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is the first wash and go that i have done since i took my silk press out so i actually just finished washing my silk press out it's sunday and so i had to i had to clarify and everything like that so i styled today with uncle funky's daughter i create hole and i create definition so i left this section out just to give you an idea how i was um applying the products to my hair so I'm going to share with you my application, just the front section here. And I'm actually <laughs> trying this um, technique that I learned from Shelly V247 on Instagram. Okay, so also in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about black girl curls and their... Um, I'm going to talk about black girl curls. There are new products on the list and stuff like that. A few months ago, they came out with a new product list. So, I went Uncle Funky. My hair is so cold because I've been walking around um, getting stuff. So, you know they came out with a new product list and everything. So, Shelly does... Um, she styled gold... She style going back like this, the front section. So uh, the next item I did put was the eye create definition. So Uncle Funky's eye create definition. And this is my, f you know, my new cut, which I'm absolutely loving my cut. So I'm going to put the eye create definition foam on right here. And, and now I'm going to put on the eye create hole like I've been doing in the shower. Let's put it, I'm going to use this one hand to emulsify. So Shelly styles backwards like this. Everything going to the back at the front right here. I'm going to try it and see how I like it. So this, the styling method that Shelly does is, it's like a no part kind of styling at the front. You're going to have to join her live she does it all the time she does wash and goes on her life so you're gonna have to join to see how she does it i'm just attempting to do it for the first time how she styled so i'm gonna try it that's done so the new products that black girl curls added to their list they only added about five or six items to the list to their list One of the items were um, Jello Shot. They added Jello Shot to their list. Um, the styler. And they added the Do Custard. I don't know if that was on there before. And the B Girl. The Do B Girl Custard and the Foam. That's on their list. I don't know if they had put it on prior, but that's on their list. Whoops. <laughs> The Clarity Shampoo and Conditioner for Scent Sensitivity. Um, they have the Tia, For You by Tia on there. The Shampoo and the Conditioner, of course. That's on there. Um, the Innocent Eye Create Definition on there. And they have a video. And it's just the same way I applied my products. That's the same way she applied hers on the video. So, And... What else did they have on there? Um, I think that's it. The I create definition, the I create, um, I create definition, the for you by Tia. Nurture is on there, but I'm not certain if Nurture was on there before, so I can't tell you what was on there before. Um, but I think that's about it. So again, I create definition. I don't even know what I put on the last time. <laughs> I create definition. But so, so yeah, that's our, those are the things I think that's on the list. I know I'm all over the place. Another thing I wanted to talk about is curly cuts and um, zero degree cuts. So I've always gotten zero degree cut. I've gotten one or two curly cuts prior to getting curly cut before. 
and while I do love curly cuts I love the shaping and everything about curly cuts it's just amazing the shaping and everything like that I love it so I cannot deny how much I love curly cuts I create hold I don't know if I did put it on before but anyway we're gonna put some on so it's I create Uncle Funky's daughter I create definition and I create hold when I did my hair felt so good my stylist she was very impressed with how hydrated my hair was and everything like that but um, when she started to do the blow drying she realized how much how damaged how much split end were still on my hair so she had to stop in the middle of blow drying and she showed me she's like you see how much she's like you're gonna be losing inches today look at that well you don't have to lose inches she knows my desire is not to have um not to have um i don't like having split ends she knows that about me so she definitely knows that about me so um she showed me where we would need to cut off to get my hair back to what i like it to be and guys if you see a part of your hair that you're like oh and this might look this way because it's been sitting for a while you can either use foam or gel so you choose which one you want to use on your hair okay you see a part and this these have been sitting now for a while isn't it so she knows how i like to wear my hair she knows i don't like split ends on my hair and she, she knows all of that so she so she shares with me where I need to cut, how much I need to cut to get rid of the split end that was there. And I just make her go ahead and cut whatever needs cut off so that my hair would be in the best health. Because you, I don't want to sit with split end because it does not benefit me to sit with split end because the next time I go in, it's just going to get worse and my hair is going to break off. So I did not want to do that. So I did cut it and I actually love the sharpness. I've always loved the sharpness. I don't really get it with the curly cuts when I do the, I don't get the sharpness I do get with this. So I do love my curly cuts, especially for the sharp cut I do have. But we'll see what it looks like when it's dry. But I still, so for this year, I think I'm just gonna do straight cut just to see what my length will be like. Because she said with the curly cuts, because they can't really see how far the split end has gone up even though they may cut the little parts that they think that are split end the split end could have gone up is you know with curly hair you can't really see so the split end is pro is was up more but you know it's difficult to see when the hair is in a curly hydrated looking state so i'm gonna just do straight cut for this year and you can watch with me my progress to see what my hair is gonna look like this time next year i'll take you along with my um, through my journey getting my cuts and see how my hair looks so the other thing that Shelly does she says whatever side you want your part to the hair to fall on the hair to be on she said lean that way first I think so I'm gonna do that so she said just lean to the side like this and then she says lean to that side and then she says to play with the hair and place it where you want to want it to go so that's what she said so it should give you so you see some here are other places so she says to move them where you would want to so this is my first attempt at doing what she says so I think I want to move this right here though I don't like where it is so I'm gonna see if I can move it just also don't want to disrupt my curls because wherever you leave it is where it's how it's gonna dry and look so I don't think that's good for me right there. I'm going to get underneath the dryer and dry my hair. And I'm going to share with you what my hair looks like when I get from under the dryer. But that's it. So I did about 30 minutes under the dryer. And then I did hover my diffuser over my hair. I still have wet spot right here and some under here and i can feel like the back the longer my hair gets the back of my hair doesn't get dry really quickly so i can feel right here is damp like it's not getting everything 
So I am going to go ahead and carry on the rest of my day and just do what I have to do. And then when it gets to be nighttime, if I still have some wet spots, I'm just going to use my diffuser to finish the job before I get to bed. But I will see you in the morning and I'll share with you what my hair looks like in the morning. So this is my day two hair. So this is what my curls are looking like. And this is with the I Create Definition foam. But this is it. Day two. I'll see you guys on day three. So this is day three of my wash and go using UFD I Create Definition and then I Create Hold on Top. So this is my final um, day of reviewing um, the product. So my hair is still looking like it did on day two. It's very soft. So this is, so these are what the curls are looking like. I don't really see any frizz. And the hair is very light and fluffy. So I really do like this. This is going to be a perfect combination for my summer months or any time of year. But this is going to be really nice for me um, during the summer. This is probably going to be a part of my combination throughout the summer months, winter, <laughs> however long the mousse lasts. But we'll see together. But it's looking good. Really, really good. So hopefully the close-up helped you to see what my hair is looking like on day three. As I mentioned, there's no frizz inside, which is really, really good. So I definitely, out of my two ways of using the combination, I prefer this combination using the Uncle Funky's Darter, the I Create Definition Foam, and then using the I Create Hold on top. I prefer using it that way. So that's how I will continue to go ahead and use the I Create Definition Foam. Thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy my videos and please don't forget to follow me also on instagram i will see you guys again in another video